Hey guys, Shock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a brand new update for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this update appears to be a hidden update. I saw this last time almost six months ago, and now it's back. So, let's see exactly what's going on. Now, this update has to do with the actual phone application, which is something I'm assuming we use all the time. So, if you go to the settings of this phone application from here, you're gonna see on the top, you might actually see on the top a little notification saying that there's an update to several components of the actual phone application. But if you don't see it, no big deal. You wanna scroll down and then you wanna to go to about phone and what you are gonna see is you're gonna see a bunch of versions relating to the phone app. So the phone app is a combination of a bunch of different sub apps. You can see we have the phone app version, we have the call version, we have the call settings version. So even this settings right here has its own version. And you can see we have the SIM transfer version and we have the call services version. At the bottom, it says a new version is available. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this right now, okay? Let's do that. So we're gonna save that, it's already saved. I'm gonna tap on update. I'm gonna see what actually changes with these version numbers. And I'm gonna see if there's anything new going on here, which I doubt, but we'll take a look anyway. So let's tap on above phone again. You're gonna see this one right here. And all you wanna do is you wanna tap on update. Now when you tap on update, it jumps to the Galaxy Store, but when you tap on the update here, it gives you a combination update. We have update to the call app, and we have update to the call settings, all right? So we have these two. I'm gonna tap it, and it looks like it is doing a combo update, as you can see, which is something I've never seen before. So let's wait for that to happen, then we'll go back, and we'll see what has changed as far as the version number is concerned. All right, so that's installing, that's almost done. That's it, so I'm gonna tap on open. That's gonna go to my phone application, back to my phone application. Actually, it is not doing it, so I'm gonna exit everything and just redo it right here. Now let's go back here, okay, and go down and tap on about phone, and it looks like a bunch of these numbers have changed, and it says the latest version is installed. Now if I were to go back out to the gallery, let's tap on this guy right here, look at these numbers, okay, and let's see, version for the phone is now still .69, the call version went from 5.8 to 6.2. The call settings version is now 2.6.0. So that went from 2.5.8 to 2.6.0. And looks like everything else is in fact still the same. I'm sorry, the SIM transfer version has been up. It is 2.6.0 here. And you can see the old one was 258. So we have some updates to the phone application. Uh, from what I can see here, I don't see anything new, but there is a lot of settings here you might need, okay? Remember, you can block numbers from here. You can change your call backgrounds from here, all right? You can even use things like answering and ending calls. So I can press the volume up to answer calls, okay? And press the side button to end calls, just so you know. So you have a lot of options here. Uh, looks like this was a under the hood improvement to all these existing features. Probably better calling and reception. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.